welcome to paradise. I'm not a giant fish, but a giant, giant fish guy. Oh my god, first cast, first cast. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in the completely and utterly stunning Isle of Skye. I've had a seven hour drive to get up here and I'm up here for three nights. So three nights camping and during the daytime straight fishing. <laughs> We're after Pollock, Pollock, Pollock this weekend. Today I am basically trying to find a location that's as remote as possible. I want to go places where other people have not fished. So what I've done, I've come down this tiny little dirt road and in front of me, I've got a four mile walk. <laughs> uh, four mile as the crow flies. So it's gonna be more than four miles. It's up and down the whole way. I was having a look on uh, Google Maps and having a look on the uh, contour lines and stuff. And it's up, down, up, down, up, down. So it's gonna be a bit of a brutal walk to get there, but I'm really hoping that we're gonna find some completely untouched ground. Now, the place that I'm planning on fishing today, I am not 100% about. I've had a look on Google Maps and it's a little bit hazy. The satellite images aren't great, not at all. And there wasn't any of the uh, little points you can put the man down on, if you know what I mean. So I'm taking a bit of a risk. It's a, it's an eight mile risk, I suppose, but hey ho, like the weather is stunning. Look at that. We've got virtually no wind, huge tides today. Um, I'm gonna go down and hopefully get there for just after low tide and then I'm gonna fish it the whole way up. So the reason that I'm at Sky is for the Pollock. Now, I don't wanna seem too aspirational. However, my PB is five and a half pound, around there anyway. I didn't get a weight on it, but I predicted it was about five and a half pounds. Now, I think, I don't wanna say stuff too soon, but I think there is definitely a chance to beat my PB today. If we can get down to the water and fish off these rock marks, which I've been finding, then I think, honestly, uh, well, all I'm going to say is we should be seeing some Pollock. <laughs> I would be amazed if we blind today. So let's just see how we get on. I don't want to hype this up too much and get too excited yet because I've not seen the fish in here yet. But I'm hopeful anyway, guys. I'm really, really hopeful. So I've been trying for months to get up to Sky. It has been the top of my priority list this whole summer and I've literally not had the chance. This is the last weekend before I go back to uni. So we're here and the conditions are perfect. So I am buzzing, absolutely buzzing. So I'll see you guys in about an hour and a half. By then, hopefully I would have found some nice rock marks to fish off of. So I'll catch up then, enjoy. Ah, 
at the moment it's not looking good unfortunately it's actually looking really bad um i am somewhat hopeful we can find somewhere to fish however just uh look at this i'm not going to get any closer there that is a vertical cliff and it's literally about 200 meters high this is where i was hoping to fish from obviously this isn't going to work i am miles away from the car hours away from the car um so i'm gonna have to think of an alternative have a look at the time here it's nearly three right so i suppose what i'm gonna have to do is continue round beyond this headland i mean we're so high up i'm not very hopeful um but we're gonna have to try um if not there was a mark further back that way that i thought could be a backup so if all this fails down on this area here then uh, we'll go back there and we'll see what we can do but i'm absolutely gutted i mean look at that i mean if we could have got down there like i almost guarantee we would have caught a double figure pollock look how deep that is look how far we are oh my god that just looks like heaven down there i might just have to get a kayak and bring it here one of these days plan for the future has been made revenge down here on a kayak it's happening right i'll uh Move around a bit and then I'll uh, I'll give you a bit of an update later on. Right, just a little bit further around. There's got to be somewhere down here that's doable. There has to be. Hopefully off of there. Have to be a case going up and over though. I'll try down here. Let's go and have a look. Right, so I've found somewhere where we can actually access the water. I think this left hand side is looking hopeful. Now I'm trying to hold my excitement here because five minutes ago I honestly thought that I was going to have to walk there hour and a half to two hours back to the car there let's go down there hopefully we can get round right hopefully we can get right round because i want to get out this bay ideally however if you have to fish this bay to start off with you have to fish the bay i'm sure there'll be pollock about guys we're on a fish and it is not a bad one either this has not taken long I'm going to have to really bully this because there's a lot of kelp about. No, I've lost it. That was a good fish. That was a good fish. Right, at least we know they're about. That was a really big pollock. Oh my God. <gasps> oh. <laughs> so I don't think it's actually that deep, to be honest, guys. This isn't, look, that's just hit the water and it's already stopped taking line. So I think we're fishing a shallow kelp bed. Clearly, there's a lot of kelp about. I don't know if you can see that. Um... I think maybe even into that bay is going to be deeper than where I'm fishing now, but I'm going to have to have a few more chucks here now I've seen that pollock. Right then, guys. This is mark number two, I suppose. And I am way more hopeful. I've got to say, we're not as far out, but it's definitely going to be deep water, this, and there's not a load of kelp right in front of me, which will make landing fish actually possible. That was going to be questionable down there. So I like the look of this. It's the first cast. I've just fell over and nearly snapped my rod. Thank God I didn't. I would have, I don't know what I would have, I would have done. I've been absolutely gutted. Yep, a fish. There we go, guys. Second cast in his pool. Look at that. He's going pretty rag. Not a bad one. Definitely not as big as the last. Oh, yeah, little pollock. Hey ho. There we go, guys. Oh, it's a coley. But there we go. First fish of the sky trip. Beautiful. Lovely coley. Get her back. There we go. It might just be a coley, but a slightly better coley. It's not too bad. Could, don't know. Yep, another coley. There we go, guys. That's definitely not a coley. Definitely not a monster, but it's definitely not a coley anyway. Yes. There we go. Oh, I've got to keep it out that kelp a little bit there, guys. Try I lift it? There we go. Not a bad sized fish. Yes! First pollock of sky, and it is not bad. It's actually quite a nice sized fish there, guys. There we go, guys. Lovely pollock, super dark color. Yeah, not a bad size. There's definitely bigger ones down there. I think the one that I had on last time was far bigger than this. So we'll get this one back. We'll see if we can get another. See you later, buddy. There he goes. Right, there we go, guys. That's a cast after that fish. Oh, and I've just lost it. I've just lost it. That was literally the next, the next cast after. Is there another one going for it? 
There's something going for it, guys. Yep. We're on. <laughs> I think, I, what? I just had a fish on, lost it. And now I'm on again in the same cast. What the hell? Right, not another monster. I can see it there. It might be a coli, actually, this one. What is it? Whoop. Yeah, little coli. All right. Hook nicely, at least. So we'll get this straight back. Get him back in here. Show you a bit of a release. Have a look. Oh, and he just goes straight down. All right. See if there's more. What I'm after is, honestly, I'll sleep very happily tonight if I get a five pound plus. That's my main goal, catch a five plus. Not out to beat PBs. I think there's definitely a possibility of a broken PB or honestly saying it quietly because I don't really want to say it on camera, but I do think there's a potential of a double figure Pollock. So there's potential on a lot of it. Yep, nice one. That's better. That's a better fish, guys. Definitely not a coli here. Definitely on a pollock. Nice. Uh, not a giant, giant fish, but definitely a better fish. He stopped fighting now, but... Oh, no. Now he's fighting. Now he's fighting. Oh, better one. Nice. That's a nice size fish. Not an absolute giant, but a really nice size pollock there, guys. There we go, guys. That is exactly why we come to Sky. There we go. Another pollock, definitely for sure. Now, this one isn't fighting much, so I'm not really sure on the size, but there's actually quite a bit of weight there. So when this starts fighting, this actually might start running quite hard, you know? Or not, or it's just a coli. Nah, this isn't a coli. I think this is about to just go rage. It's going to get close in and be like, what the hell? Right, so... Oh no, it's just a small one. Not a bad one, but it is a small one. Wow, look at the yellow on that Pollock. Now you're going rage. Chill out, fella. There we go. Look at the yellow on that. What a lovely fish. Get this one back. Oh dear. Well, he's off. So guys, just a quick bit of an update. I've currently landed three Pollock. Um, the biggest one that I've had on, I've definitely lost. Uh, but anyway, so I do like the look of, this, look of this area a lot. Don't get me wrong. However, that rock out there, the one just in front of me there, is looking super tempting. I can see a huge current line going around this side of that. And... I think there's going to be some really big fish off of it. Now, on this side, it's not possible to get down to it. This side is too steep. However, I might have to risk it. Climb back up this cliff, round, and go and see if I can get to the other side of that because fishing off of there will be unreal. I can, I, like, I, I almost guarantee it. Um, so, yeah, I'll stay down here for a little bit longer. Maybe even another hour or so, just to see if there are any decent fish coming into this bay. Um, and then I'm going to attempt to get around there. So, yeah. Hopefully, next time we'll see you, we'll be with a nice big pollock. There we go, guys. Another fish there. Pretty sure this one is a pollock, but it's not a big one. Oh, is that a coli? No, it is a pollock. Yeah, that is a pollock. Yeah, it's a little pollock, but it is a pollock. Nice, another pollock. This one's straight back. Slammed it, guys. <laughs> I don't even think it's that big, but he just slammed it. <laughs> Flipping out, it's another Pollock. Took it really close in there. There we go. No, whoa, sugar. He's fine. There he goes. Well, another fish. So then, guys, I'm just going to give you a quick run through of the rigs and the tackle that I'm using today. So, Rod, we've got Abu Garcia Beast Pro. This is a nine foot, it's 40 to 100 gram spinning rod. It is a pike fishing rod. Um, I snapped my sea fishing rod in one of the other videos, so I'm not using that. Um, yeah, so I do like having a rod that's weighted 
40 to 100 grams because it means that I can easily chuck out 60 gram metals and I do enjoy fishing with the 60 grams I've got to say I love the extra range you get with it I love the sink rate and yeah you just get a better retrieve rate in general with a heavier metal on and I find all size fish take them so I think it's a bit of a win-win to be honest with you um, especially with that extra few meters of range that you'll get with the casts uh, real wise I've got a Daiwa BGMQ6000 um, lovely reel absolutely love this reel um, I've had this for about two and a half years now and it has done me beautifully uh, I've got 40 pound Daiwa J braid on here and today well here now I've got a sand eel 23 gram sand eel I've been using uh, silver minnows 60 gram um, we've got a 40 pound mono leader um, I usually go 25 pounds with the leader because it's a little bit less visible however with this sort of fishing uh, a lot of kelp about and big fish potentially coming through that kelp I wanted to use something a little bit stronger today so I've got less chance of losing lures and losing fish so 40 pound leader today so it's 40 pound braid onto 40 pound leader and yeah that's pretty much it so then guys this tide is coming in really fast now so I don't have much longer on these rocks at all to be honest with you um, yeah we've got massive tides today so this tide is going to strip it in so I've only got probably another well not many casts at all off of here then we're going to have to move and we'll explore that mark down there another fish there guys definitely not a coli right let's have a look oh my god it's a mackerel didn't even think about having mackerel in at the moment well there we go <laughs> Got a mackerel, nice. I'm gonna put this one back. There we go, lovely guys. Get this back. I want to actually see the release on this mackerel because I want to see how quickly it swims. All right, let's have a look. Oh, it's a bit of a... well, you couldn't even see that. You shot off like a rocket. All right then guys, so I'm at the top of this cliff now, as you can see. Um, I am at this mark that I wanted to come to and it looks doable. That looks doable to me, down there. And then we can go down there and down there. And then we're down and then, man, I wish I came here earlier now because this looks unreal. This is definitely, uh, this is definitely gonna be where the big fish are. Right, let's see if we can get down here and hopefully we can get right down. Let's have a look. All right then guys, have a look at this. Obviously we're far too high at the moment to be fishing from. That's what I've come down. Opposite where I was fishing, it looked like there was a place that takes you right down close to the water. So we're gonna go down there and uh, I'll give you an update when we get there. Right then guys, I'm gonna try and get here and then we'll be casting out into here and this is much deeper. This is gonna be completely different. I honestly think we're gonna catch a ton of fish now. <laughs> I wish I came here earlier, but I mean, it's only five o'clock. The thing is, I'm camping, so I've got a lot of stuff to set up and do when I get back to the car and I don't even know where I'm gonna camp tonight. Um, and there's also uh, probably a couple hours worth of walking to get back. From where i'm at now um so we'll give this a quick hour i reckon they'll be in the bays but the big fish are going to be out in these current lines oh my god i'm absolutely buzzing about this right i'll just film the first cast i suppose because i think that's all it's gonna take i don't want to be cocky but let's just have a look oh there oh you probably gonna see that guys there was a, it looked like a dolphin, maybe a porpoise, just out in front of me. There it is. See that? Um, I'm not going to be able to line my finger up there, but there's something out there. Oh, that's a big spell. Look there. Oh, I think it's a porpoise. And that's a giant fish. That's a giant, giant fish, guys. Oh my God. First cast. First cast. This is a giant. This is way bigger than what we've seen today. I knew this move would pay off. Oh my God. How big is this? This is going to be a PB here, guys, for absolute definite. Now, 
Oh my God, this is huge. No, that was flipping huge. Holy hell, that was gigantic. That was a huge, huge pollock, guys. Oh, oh my God, that was a first flipping cast. Yep, another one, and this one's class. My God, this is another big fish. Another big fish here, guys. Hopefully we can actually get this one in. Oh my God, he slammed it. It's not as big, nowhere even close. Oh, a little, little in comparison, but a nice, nice pollock there. There we go. That's gonna be the biggest of the day there, guys. Lovely pollock. Nowhere even close to the size of the last one. There he goes. Okay, I'm gonna get a new battery in this GoPro. I'm gonna catch some bigger ones. There we go. There's a fish. Definitely not the giants we're after, but it's another pollock. A little one. Is that a pollock? I think. Oh, it's a coli, but it's a very, very dark coli. There we go, coli. Straight back, don't have time for them. There we go, fish. Not a bad one, definitely not a bad one here, guys. Quite a good one. Close in, they're definitely close to this uh, shoreline here. Oh, not a bad fish. Probably the biggest of the day there, guys. Get this one straight back. There he goes. Right, and straight back out. Nice one, really nice one. That's it guys, this is a massive fish. Oh my God. There's been a fish on literally pretty much every cast here. This is insane, this is a really big fish. Guys, this is huge. This is my PB by a mile. This is my PB by an, and it's just, is it in a, oh no. It's got me in a snag. It's got me in a snag guys. I'm gonna have to give it some slack, see if it can get me out of it. Right, I'm gonna walk it round and see if I can get a different angle on this snag. Oh, we've got it out, we've got it out. We've got it out. Oh my God, we're gonna have to go down here. Can I get down there? Barely. What? Bloody tiny. Is this dead or? Has, has a seal had this or? What? That what about that makes any sense, guys? I'm serious, what on earth? That was the best run I've ever had off of a fish. And it's a tiny pollock. It's not tiny, but what? I'm so confused. What's going on? That, what? Right, I think I've come to a bit of a conclusion. That was obviously very strange. I'm sure you saw my rod going there. Um, however, that pollock was very slightly side hooked, wasn't in the mouth, so that might have just been a difference. Uh, yeah, but you saw that run there. That was that was the best run off of sea fish I've ever I've ever had or seen or anything. That was insane. Um, but yeah, it must have been due to having it slightly hooked in the cheek. Have a look at that, guys. Can you see that bird somewhere around there? That could be an osprey. That's a big big bird of prey. Now, I might have to do my research on the bird species around here. But that is a big bird. Wow. Hopefully it comes a bit closer. Oh, it's gonna. Can you see that, guys? Now, leave it in the comments below if you know what type of bird that's gonna be. On the Isle of Skye, and it's the last day of August. So what could that be? It's got a yellow beak, it doesn't have much white on it, potentially a white tail, and it looks brown. Probably basically common on every single bird. <laughs> now, a lot of you may be thinking, why on earth are you wearing gloves? I don't know, I wouldn't usually wear gloves. I usually wear one glove, because I am a bit of a wimp. And my, my finger gets destroyed from casting for 10 hours straight. Um, that's the reason I usually wear my right hand, but I'm having to wear my left hand now because I basically I've had my hands just in salt water, in and out salt water all week. 
and they're pretty destroyed to be honest yeah so but i just give them a little bit of protection for today uh to try and keep them in reasonable condition all right then guys that's a nice fish this is a nice fish here this could be the best of the day on the sand eel again really close i want to keep it out of there that's a nice pollock guys really nice pollock there that's probably the, yeah definitely the biggest of the day look at that perfectly timed and we've lost it come on one more big swell we're gonna have to wait for another big swell here i'm just gonna grab it actually one's come in lovely that is a big pollock guys potential personal best here i'm gonna have to get a weight on this guys that is a nice nice size pollock and it's all tangles Oh wow, that is a lovely sized pollock. Where? Chill out, pal. Okay, guys. That is a big fish. Really big fish. Right, I'm gonna have to get a weight on this. Right, there we go, guys. Now that is exactly why we come to Sky. Look at the size of that pollock. I'm gonna get a quick weight because this is definitely maybe my PB here. Well, somehow it's only a four pounder. Anyway, I'm gonna try to show you the release. Please don't do anything rad here. Okay, here we go. Pollock. There he goes. Yes! So then guys. I'm gonna try and give you a little bit of a different angle because you've been on my chest all day long. So yeah, get the tripod going. Right, so that was a nice size pollock. I was getting a little bit hyped up there. It was only four pound 10 of 4.1 um, in pounds. So not even close to the size that I was hoping or the weight that I was, well, the weight that I thought it was gonna be. Um, yeah, I was getting a little bit hyped up. Obviously, it wasn't huge, huge, but still a really, really nice pollock. Really happy with that. Um, still gonna say, not quite the size of the one that I lost on the like, first half. So, definitely gonna stay here for a little bit longer and hopefully get another one in. Yeah, so the sand eel has been doing well. I've not on the razor claws most of the day, and Sandy was popping off. Oh, That's what's not fun. Well, we're going to lose the Sandy Okay. Okay, then, guys. So, as you can see, I'm mid up. These mid are now about, and they have found me. There's loads. Just stuck a new sand on there, got a white one on now. I haven't got any of the uh, olive ones, uh, but yeah, white's gonna have to do, and it probably will. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, and that's a fish! That's a fish right at my feet again! Get straight up. <laughs> there we go! Whoop! On the tripod. Not a bad pollock, very lively fish. Oh, very lively. Chill out, fella. Straight out. There we go. Give you a quick show. Nice pink one. Lovely. There we go. Another fish. Oh, this is a good one. This is a nice fish. Yeah, I've got to say, guys, this is absolutely crazy. I've pretty much caught a pollock every single cast here. This is actually insane, guys. I've never had pollock fishing like this ever before, ever. Not even close. Oh, no. Yeah, this is the best pollock fishing I've ever had by a million miles. And that's a big one. Woohoo! That's a nice, nice pollock. Hang on a second, that's actually a beast. Get in. Oh, that is a, that's probably the biggest of the day. That is a big fish. Shit! 
There we go, guys. That is a big pollock. There we go. We'll get it, get it back in. There he goes. And I've broken my rod. Well then guys, I think we can all agree that that has been an absolutely insane day's fishing. Has anybody ever seen that many pollock in one day? Because I haven't seen anything even close, remotely close. That I couldn't even guess how many pollock we've had today. I want to say at least 20. I actually do, 20 pollock. I'll maybe give it a count up. I'm actually having to cut the session a little earlier than I would have liked, but we've got that many fish that I think it's going to make a pretty decent video. Um, as you can see, just one final look at the view there. Absolutely class. What happened there is I've snapped my rod. It's not, it's not major, major, but it's definitely annoying. I'm up here for another two days, so I did put in a spare rod just in case this happened because I kind of did see this happening. Um, but you know, that is a 200 pound rod. So I'm going to have to see what I can do. It's only one of the eyes. One of the eyes have completely come off. So yeah, it's a bit gutting really, but it's fishing for you. Fishing is not a cheap spot. This is what I have uh, learned over the years. Anyway, so obviously I'm up here for two more nights. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing for the next couple of days. Um, I haven't decided. Honestly, I could come back here because I mean, that first Pollock that I lost was ginormous. I really hope the GoPro picked that up, but it was ginormous. Um, the biggest pollock I've ever had, and I lost it on my feet, but it is what it is. Um, so, hour and, a, hour and a half at least back the car from here. I'm gonna start the walk. Um, I've gotta get in, I've, I've gotta get my tents up and all that stuff before it gets too dark. And you see, sun's not got too far to go down now. So I'm gonna have to leave it there, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for getting this far through. It's probably going to be a long one today. So really appreciate it. Peace out. I'll catch up with you guys soon. See you later on.